hello guys welcome to my channel so this is chidima bless scene and in today's video i'll be showing you how to make your liquid dish washer so briefly before we go into the video i'll show you some of the chemicals needed and the measurements for the chemicals the first chemical here is nitrosol and nitrosol serves as a thickener in the production of liquid soap the next chemical needed according to how it's been prepared is caustic soda. Caustic soda serves as the stain or dirt removing agent in the liquid soap. Next we'll be needing soda hash. Soda hash helps regulate the concentration of caustic soda which is naturally hard to the skin. It helps to neutralize the caustic soda. Next, we'll be needing sodium lauryl sulfate, that is SLS. SLS serves as the main active foaming agent in the liquid soap. The next chemical we'll be needing is sodium tripolyphosphate, that is STPP. STPP serves as a strong cleaning agent too and helps the SLS to work on its full potential. The next chemical that we'll be needing is sulfonic acid. Sulfonic acid is also a foaming and cleaning agent. The next chemical we'll be needing is texapone. Texapone serves as a foaming agent and a booster too. Next we have the foam booster. Foam booster makes the liquid soap to foam very well. And here we have the color color has beauty to the product you can use whatever color you want green pink yellow orange purple and so on the next on my list is perfume perfume gives your soap a sweet fragrance next on my list i have vitamin e which helps protect the skin from wrinkles or damages and lastly, I have formalin. Formalin serves for the purpose of preserving the soap. That is, if it's to be stored longer than six months, then you'll be making use of this very chemical. But if it's for home use, you don't need to add formalin to your soap. Okay, so right here in this bowl, I have a 16 liters of water. Now, I want to make a liquid soap of 20 liters, but in this bowl, I have a 16 liters, which means the remaining 4 liters will be used to mix other chemicals. Just continue watching. So, in this bowl, I have my 16 liters of water, and the first chemical I'm adding into the water is my nitrosol. I am adding up the nitrosol and ensure you stir it properly. Nitrosol is the first chemical you'll be adding and ensure you turn it, you stir it properly with a wooden stick. The next chemical we'll be adding into the nitrosol is soda ash and caustic soda. But no, you have to mix the caustic soda and the soda ash in a different container. Now I have 4 liters of water left. I'm going to mix the caustic soda with 1 liter of water and I'm going to mix the uh, soda ash with another liter of water and don't forget to mix this uh, chemicals properly before adding it into the nitrosol.
okay so at this point know that there is no right or wrong way to make your liquid soap all you have to do is to make sure you add all the powder chemicals first before adding the liquid chemical so at this point i am adding the sulfonic acid as you can see the sulfonic acid is in a liquid form so you just have to add that directly you're not mixing it with any water just add it directly into the mixture So here again I have a texafon. Now texafon is also in its liquid form. So you add that directly also and please mix the chemicals very well. You have to ensure you continue stirring to avoid your soap having clumps or what's called seeds or you know just to make sure it's smooth. Just make sure the consistency is, is, is okay. Just keep stirring. You have to keep mixing it together. Mix all the chemicals together and make sure it is smooth enough. Okay, so sorry guys, my phone died at this point. But after adding your texafone, the next liquid chemical to add is your foam booster. Now you add foam booster directly also because it's actually in its liquid form. So you put that inside the mixture and stir continuously. You have to keep stirring so it doesn't form any kind of seed. Or the next chemical to add is color. Now color is in its powder form which means you have to mix the color with a little bit of water before adding into the mixture. Next on the list is your perfume. Add perfume directly into the mixture. You know perfume is in its liquid form also so you just have to add that directly. Next you add your vitamin E oil or glycerin or vitamin E oil and glycerin into the mixture. And at this point, you just have to continue stirring the mixture. Just have to continue stirring. Stir for as long as it pleases you. Okay, so guys, that's all for the video. Now, after mixing these chemicals together, you can then set the bowl aside and allow the chemicals to dissolve properly. You can leave it for a bowl. You can leave the mixture in a bowl for an hour or two hours or overnight before putting it in a container.